Despite the challenging times that Lebanon has been going through, the British painter Tom Young is exhibiting his work in the symbolic setting of a Turkish hammam situated in the city of Saida. Well, the hammam in Saida is a very special place, Hammam al-Jadid, um, because for me it symbolizes a place where all different religious communities and people from all economic backgrounds can congregate and join together with a common purpose of cleansing and healing. And I think this is really relevant for us today because we're going through this, this great trauma um, in Lebanon and globally. Young has been living and painting the Lebanese capital for years. So in a way, my connection to Lebanon is, is deep and emotional and I identify with the place. I may not be from here, um, I'm from Britain, but um, yeah, the place moves me and it inspires me as an artist more than anywhere that I've been in the world. And I've painted in many continents all over the world. So there was something about Lebanon that really inspired me and still inspires me. Fascinated by the traditional architecture at first, Young couldn't help but shift his focus onto the events that have swarmed the city starting with the 2019 revolution, also known as the Thawra. Well, I think after the explosion and actually um, during the Thawra as well, um, my painting became much more energetic. Um, I was using much thicker paint with a knife. Um, straight out of the tube and not slashing at the canvas um, as if I was channeling my own anger uh, or my own excitement or my own trauma into the painting directly. His paintings have chronicled what's been happening in the city as he feels a responsibility to capture Beirut's historic events. I think because I've, I've experienced these crises um, firsthand and um, it's affected me directly. I mean, this studio was smashed to pieces and the explosion. And my home in Jamezi was also devastated. Um, and had I been here or been at home that day, then I may well have been badly injured or perhaps killed. I'm very fortunate to have been uninjured that day. But yeah, as an artist, I feel like I, 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 I want to tell the truth about what's happening. not plan on restoring his damaged works. He says those wounds put the pain in the word painting. I think the paintings now, because they're wounded, they contain more meaning. And instead of hiding that wound, um, I think it's important to actually integrate that wound into the art in the same way that we all have to integrate our trauma into our lives. We can't just sweep it under the carpet and pretend it never happened. Um, we have to somehow live with it and hopefully over the years um, let it heal. Indeed, many Lebanese need to cope with the trauma they have lived through. In a way, Art has become the outlet that both painters and viewers are healing through. Rola Broche, TRT World, Beirut.